Hi everyone, so now that we do our implementation of smoothing spline. So 7.5 smoothing spline. So we have used the splines package, so library spline, just in case. Once more. And the last time that we used the BS function and NS function, then that we use the usual um, linear regression function, LM function. But the smoothing spline, we have to optimize um, using the more complicated error function. We have the um, penalty term for smoothness. So we have to use the new function, the smooth dot spline function. So smooth dot spline function of time nile then df2. So this gives the degrees of freedom, uh, so effective degrees of freedom. So then we can generate the spline curve. Okay. So if we just type this, the, it, this is the output. So effective degrees of freedom is calculated by lambda. So basically the uh, R searches for appropriate lambda, which makes effective degrees of freedom 2. Actually, after some iterations, the R found that the lambda is equal to 321, makes equivalent degrees of freedom equal to almost 2. And the sparsity parameter, this is a function of lambda, so this is another expression of lambda. So this is the sum of residual uh, squares, and the GCP is um, basically the um, leave one out cross validated error. So um, basically, the, so this, okay, so we only have summary here, but the uh, R generates um, the uh, fitted curve with the spline. So now we want to see um, the fitted curve. So we uh, name this for simplicity, spline time nile df2, then original scatter plot is this, and we overlay the spline, and we don't really have to specify the x-axis, so just put the ss2, then we can make spline. So df2 means we have two parameters, so one for intercept, one for slope. So this is just a straight line. So this is not interesting, so that we want to make df larger, so df4. So ss4, color 2 is red. So this is spline, so we have the four degrees of freedom. So this is equivalent to basically um, cubic curve, but the uh, the truth is that actually this is the piecewise cubic, but the, we penalize the smoothness so that the uh, entire curve is smooth enough. So actually this is piecewise cubic curve, but the, almost as smooth as one cubic curve. Maybe we get df larger, still the curve was simple, so we make it larger. So, so this is the degree 6, so we have 6 parameters, and we make this green curve. Probably green curve is slightly better, because we have the, these observations, these have high y value, and actually the green curve is above red curve. And around here, we have much more um, lower values, and the green curve goes below. So probably green curve is better than red curve. How about 8? SS8, degrees of freedom 8. So lines 8, color 4. Then we add curve, blue one. Um, still, the blue one looks slightly better than green one. Maybe it's too bumpy some people think, but uh, it's, it looks better at most points. So now we want to see the, what's the best degree, degrees of freedom. 
And actually this smooth spline function have very convenient feature that automatically um, optimize the degrees of freedom. And we can specify CV is equal to true, then the smooth dot spline function choose the optimal degrees of freedom. So SSCV, actually the equivalent degrees of freedom is 23.4. So um, 23 degree um, is the best. So it's pretty complicated curve. Maybe we add curve on scatter plot. Ah, uh, this the light blue curve is the best. Actually, this looks too ad hoc, but um, actually, the, if we use the um, leave one out cross validation, so this turns out to be the best. So this is the smoothing spline. So we have studied many methods, the, the uh, polynomial step function, the basis function, regression spline, and smoothing spline. So this is uh, kind of smoothing method. So if you want to interpolate the, this graph, the, those methods are useful. So time series data, this is annual data. And if we interpolate, then we have to think about seasonality. So this is probably not the best data, uh, but um, in general, the, often we want to interpolate the data set and the smoothing methods um, we have studied here are very useful. So for prediction purpose, that we have slightly different issues. So spline curve, prediction purpose, basically the right end is most important, but the, for example, spline curve isn't really um, reliable at the end point. So um, the uh, prediction for time series data, that we may have to use different method, but um, these are useful for smoothing interpolation. Okay, so this is, uh, implementation of the 7.5, the smoothing splines. Okay, see you then.